Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your girl, LBE. Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Elaine. I'm the owner of Love Basket Express. Um, Y'all, I'm coming back to you guys with a video. I know I've been in my A, but your girl is getting ready for a lot of things. As you can see, I'm preparing for Easter. Um, I have pretty much moved and shifted all of my food inventory. The popsicles and everything were over here in this corner. And I have shifted everything to this side because this is where I'm going to be able to grab and make. As you all know, my bench area or my workstation is here. So, and I stand usually back there to create my baskets. So I just grab and go. Um, but anyway, um, I still have to get all that organized back. <laughs> Valentine's Day, like me. <laughs> Valentine's Day got my, my office looking like a hot mess. Okay. Um, but I also have to prepare for a home inspection. For those of y'all who don't know, I do rent this home. I have rented this home for 10 years. Don't come for me in the comments about purchasing. Uh, my husband and I have a plan. Um, and my house is, um, they offer us a program, um, through the co realtor company that I, I rent from, uh, first time home buyers program, um, where rent to own, where majority of our rent goes to a down payment. So don't come for me in the comments about me renting. It is what it is. We have a plan. We have a process we're following. Leave us be. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I got a home inspection coming up on Sunday. So. I'm trying to clean up this office before this man come up here and try to take pictures and my office looks a hot mess. Okay, I have stuff everywhere, shred all over the floor. We're not right here. I'm actually sweeping as I go. Um, and I still need to sweep some more over here. But anywho, that is not what this video is about. This video is about to show you guys my um uh, some of my preparation for Easter. Um real quick though, before I get started, and I'm sorry I'm smacking because I'm eating peppermint. It's just you know, my mouth is dry. Um, but anyway um for those y'all who made a great profit this weekend and you do not own a tent or tables or more tables than just one um please utilize some of that money don't go blow it and and wing it everywhere utilize that some of that to invest in a tent um you can find tents at walmart academy sports um a lot of you know places that sell like sport themed stuff and stuff like that Please look around Facebook market, um, anything like that to find you some tables and tents and invest in that stuff. Because the last thing you want to do is have to, um, have to, um, keep going the way you're going. The whole purpose of you, you know, starting this basket journey and things like that is to, um, continue to grow and you can't grow, continue to doing the same thing you did last year or the year before or the year before. So please take time to invest. Um, and the equipment that you need to keep your business going. Um, and I just want to point that out because I really care about you guys. And I really care about, you know, where you're going. And I see a lot of people are, are struggling without a tent and things like that. So if you made a good profit, please take 50 or 60 or whatever it costs to invest in a tent. You will not be disappointed. Okay. Um, anyway, enough about that. So here's my inventory for Easter. Well, my food inventory. What I had to do was I shifted all of the holiday stuff over here. Um, for those y'all who are new to my channel, you're like, whoa, LBE, you got a lot of stuff, blah, 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 blah. Well, remember, LBE does not do this as a part-time job. This is my full-time job, and I do gift passes throughout the entire year. So anything that I may need or um, that uh, food-wise, regardless of what it may be, what occasion or whatever, I have inventory for those purposes, okay? Um, so anyway... You want to get that out the way. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, I have popsicles, slush puppies. Um, I just recently started to get these more and more in the past, like three years or whatever. And, um, the main place I get mine is Dollar General after summer sale. Um, y'all know most food lasts, especially stuff like this lasts at least a year or two, um, well until, you know, uh, further on out. Um, so you can utilize this stuff throughout, um, to prepare for the following year. So anyway, as you can see, I have a lot of slush puppies, um, and they're all stacked on top of each other. She has a box up under there. There's a box up under that one. Try to give you a side glimpse so you can see exactly how many I have. Um, and, and for those of y'all who don't know, Easter is my biggest holiday. Um, like, <laughs> I can't even explain to you how big Easter is for, for me. 
Um, so I have to be well prepared. Um, and I honestly, though, I think I'm going to run out and still not be able to finish or put in a lot into um, the, re the remainder of my baskets. Um, I know y'all thought I did a lot for Valentine's Day, baby, listen. Valentine's Day got nothing on my Easter, okay? Um, so I'm hoping, as you can see, all the popsicles are stacked up, ready to go. I try to keep everything as organized as I possibly can. I'm going to do some ice cream themed baskets this year. Um, I just thought about that when I found those for a penny. And I was like, you know what? Let's try it out. You know, I'm, I'm only spending a penny for the cones. And then a few couple of bucks for the, the rest of the stuff. So I should be okay uh, as far as investing in it. But um, all of this stuff came from Dollar General after summer sale. Um, now, as far as what I put into the um, Easter baskets, as far as treats and stuff like that, um, I'm not a traditional Easter, ba Easter basket designer. I'm not a traditional basket designer, period. If you don't know that by now, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but anyway, uh, a lot of kids have peanut allergies and things like that. So please be remind, please be mindful of that when you're purchasing candy and snacks and treats for your gift baskets. Um, I honestly just steer away from peanut, anything with peanuts, anything. I just keep everything fruity and, and, and stuff like that. So I always give them goldfish. Um, I purchase my stuff in bulk, y'all. I cannot do the Dollar Tree five or six pieces in a pack or whatever it may be. I keep it, keep it simple to the point that I don't have to think so hard and I don't have to keep going back and forth to Dollar Tree to get this and that and this and that and this and that. Okay. Especially when it comes to this stuff. Um, so I go to Sam's. I have a Sam's membership. Um, and I get the goldfish every year as you can see there are several boxes back there um i also get um my fruit snacks they come in boxes i always get the mods the real fruit fruit snacks it's just, i just keep it simple um i get a couple i got like three boxes of those they come in a box a case of 90 um so that should last me well into quite a bit of easy baskets um i get the cotton puff tails and the rice crispy treats from walmart because for some reason Sam's, I ain't seen no rice crispy treats in Sam's, and I try to keep this get the simple ones, the the small ones, as you can see, um, because every basket will get one of each, one one goldfish, one fruit snack, one rice crispy treat, and I also have potato chips. I have not brought them up yet. I have boxes downstairs, several boxes downstairs that I got to chug up here, but I'm actually going to pour all of them into one big box. And that one big box is just going to sit right here on the floor. And I'm just going to grab and go as I, you know, as I create. Um, it's just going to be easier that way than try to have five to 15 different doggone boxes of chips up here. Um, but I tried to get, again, my stuff in bulk. Um, except for the Slush Puppies, I get whatever the store has. But, of course, I might have to go from, from store to store for the popsicles and stuff. But um, as far as everything else, I try to get it in bulk to make sure that I don't run out immediately and that i can get a lot done before i have to go back to the store okay um so that's just my take on it you can you know shop at the dollar tree if you want to i feel like when i do the 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 addition on everything i'm saving on most of these snacks and i'm paying less than most people paying at the dollar tree so for instance like for the rice crispy treat it's 25 cents a piece um and uh for the fruit snacks i think it was like I can't remember. I want to say 15 cents or something like that, or maybe less than that. Um, a piece for a fruit for a bag of fruit snacks to go in the basket. Uh, of course, these were in between 85% of these were 90% off, and then the rest I got for a penny. So, and that includes the the boxes of popsicles as well, and then it includes also the ice cream cone. So all this, most of this stuff was a penny. So I'm paying less than 50 cents for anything. Okay. Um, and it's just better for me to do it that way. I'm sorry. It's just cheaper for me and better for me to do it that way than to keep going back and forth to all these other stores and trying to get all this stuff. Just like the the um, Sour Patch Kids. You remember I told y'all Bargain Hunt right before Valentine's Day had these, um, the multi boxes, the 10 pack boxes that had the Christmas decorations on the outside. Well, the boxes inside did not have Christmas decorations on it. So you can use those for Easter and stuff like that. So as you can see, I am uh, fully stocked on those as much as I possibly can. And then these are going to get used. I don't know if I'm going to do my candy bouquets like I did last year or, I mean, not candy bouquets, but like the little candy baskets. 
like I did last year, or I'm just going to stick those in the older kids' baskets. I'm not sure, but we'll see as the time goes by. Um, but I went on and opened up all the 10-pack boxes and just put all the smaller boxes in there. That way, I don't have to keep opening up those boxes as I'm making baskets. Um, and then that's just the remaining. I made like six. I may have like six or seven bags of the popcorn left in there. I may or may not choose to put that in the baskets, but this is my inventory. Um, I'm sorry if I'm smacking. I'm eating a peppermint because my throat's dry. <laughs> But um, there's more little uh, airhead slush snow cone thingy Bobby Jr.'s in that container right there. Um, just trying to keep everything simple and organized and together. Um, but just to show you guys a snippet of how I keep it simple, even with the Easter bass, especially when it comes to the snacks, baby. Look, don't go getting 12 million thousand snacks. Keep your snacks simple. That's just my opinion and, and my, you know, my decision to do. You know, y'all can do 12 million snacks if you want to, but I like to keep mine simple and I don't have to stress over peanut allergies and people not being able to buy a basket because it's got peanuts in it or this and that. I'm not missing no coins. And if that if that means not getting anything with peanuts or anything related to peanuts or anything chocolate, then so be it. Um, and then again, as far as like my candy goes, I do put Easter eggs in the baskets Um, and the candy that goes in those are Starburst and Skittles. Okay. I get the big bag from Sam's. I bought three big bags from Sam's when I went and got all the rest of this stuff um, a couple of days ago. And um, we're going to sit downstairs, my husband and I, and we're just going to um, start stuffing the eggs. Probably on Sunday, we're going to start filling the eggs um, because Monday I'm going to be ready to rock and roll. So y'all be ready because we're coming with them videos, okay? Uh, I'm going to try to give you as many as I can, but I'm also going to try to stick and move, okay? Because I have a lot to prepare, okay? Um, but other than that... I just want to thank y'all for um, watching my video. Thank y'all for all your love and support over the weekend. I'm sorry I couldn't do a full video, but y'all told y'all, girl, your girl was by herself. And I had to, you know, I, I, well, I wasn't by myself. I had my mama or my husband. But either way, I still had to go back and forth to the house and stuff like that. So it just was not enough time to record in between that and, and taking care of customers. But um, uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.